So, hi. Hola. <laughs> a student from Jose Rizal Memorial State University, uh, a second year college. I'm taking up Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management. Today's video, I'm gonna show you a food handling vlog for ano. What is food sanitation? Food sanitation is more than just cleanliness. It included all practices involved in protecting food from risk, cross-contamination, harmful bacteria, poisons, and foreign bodies preventing any bacteria from multiplying to an extent which would result in an illness of consumers and destroying any harmful bacteria in the food by thorough cooking or processing. Let me explain to you what is the food safety. Food safety is a scientific discipline describing handling, preparation, and storage of food in ways that prevent foodborne illness. This includes a number of routines that would be followed to avoid potentially severe health hazards. So these are the important factors of safe food, which is the heat, the temperature, um, the hygiene or the wash, rinse, sanitize, hand washing. Uh, I will explain it to you later. First is hand washing. Hand washing is very important. So when exactly do you hand wash? So first is when you arrive at work. Every time you return to the kitchen before putting putting a single use gloves between different jobs in the kitchen. Be before or have after handling raw foods, uh, raw foods, fresh or frozen poultry. Uh, fish or meat after taking out the garbage handling dirty dishes mopping or sweeping and also after coughing sneezing wiping or blowing your nose after using the restroom after touching your hair or face after using the tel tel telephone after handling money after eating drinking or smoking after touching anything that might contaminate your food or hands how to clean our sanitized surfaces and equipment so first is you scrape or remove food and debris from the surface you use towels or other equipment as necessary uh, wash the surface use the correct cleansing chemical for the job and rinse the surface Make sure to thoroughly remove the detergent residue, sanitize the surface, use a sanitation solution that has been properly mixed to the correct strength. Allow the surface to air dry. What is food hygiene? Food hygiene is the science that deals with the promotion and preservation of health. It is also narrowed down on conditions and practices that serve to promote or preserve health. What are the barriers? So what are the barriers? What are the barriers to prevent food? <laughs> what are variables? So what are the barriers to prevent contamination of food? No bare hands on contact with food. So cross contamination between ready ready to eat food and unwashed or poorly washed hands causes foodborne illnesses. Avoid contaminating food by providing a barrier between your hands and the food. Paper towels are meant for single use only, so don't use them for more than one task. So here are the tips for preventing cross contaminations. Number one is to wash hands frequently and between tasks. Clean and sanitize food contact surfaces uh, between cutting different types of raw meat, 
between working with raw meats or ready to eat food anytime anytime contamination has occurred uh, st store wet wiping clothes in a chemical sanitizing solution between uses always remember that hand sanitizers are not intended to replace hand washing so bare hand contact is allowed when ha washing raw food and vegetables many mice bare hand contact with exposed food that is not in ready to eat form always don't forget the proper hand washing hands must still be washed in using the barriers to avoid cross contamination so it is important to keep ourselves safe in the kitchen because that will save you from spending money seeking treatment so because safety in the kitchen is vital a number of protective tools have been invented below we'll look at examples of personal protective equipment in the kitchen plastic hand gloves or surgical hand gloves you can protect your hands by using gloves specifically cat resistant gloves that are made with various materials though you might still need to exercise caution when cooking it is important to wear gloves to avoid contaminating the raw ingredients when preparing food a hair net will keep away the stray hair strands that you have to prevent contaminating the food with hair apron a kitchen apron keeps your uniform or clothes clean while cooking it acts as an extra barrier between your skin from different materials and ingredients used in cooking that might cause you injuries. Clothes shoes. Always wear clothes shoes when cooking to protect your feet from any spoilage that may occur when cooking. It acts as a barrier between your feet from different materials used in cooking. Mask. It prevents any saliva or contaminants from the cook to mix with the prepared food that may lead to spoilage. Next important factor of safe food is temperature. Temperature. Cooling and cold holding for refrigerated food should be held at below 41 degree Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius. Hot holding for cooked food must be a minimum temperature of 135 degree Fahrenheit or 57 degrees Celsius.